Hey what's up guys you're watching for tech in the last video we have installed the elixir android 12 base rom on our oneplus nord 2 rom is working very good but as i promise you all i will give you android 11 based lineage os 18.1 we all know that the lineage os roms are clean ui roms and known for the performance stability as compared to other custom roms so today in this video i'm gonna show you how to install the lineage os 18.1 over the your existing elixir android 12 rom and this will also works on stock oxygen OS also. So without wasting your time, let's get started. On a new adventure. So first of all, disable all the pin password and boot your device into the TWRP using the advanced reboot option available in Elixir ROM. If you are on oxygen OS ROM, then use the ADB commands to boot your device into the recovery. If you are on the Elixir Android 12 ROM, we need the USB OTG with the pen drive, download G apps and the Lineage OS 18.1 zip in the pen drive. If you are on the Oxygen OS, download and keep both the files in the internal storage of your device. After booting it to the TWRP, first take the full Android backup over your phone for the safety and keep that backup in a PC at a safe place. Now connect the OTG with the pen drive to the phone, then click mount, then check mark the USB storage. Now click select storage and select the USB storage. After that click install and select the Lineage OS 18.1 file. Flash it, after that install the OpenG apps. Oxygen OS users can skip the OTG process and flash the Lineage OS as shown from the internal storage in a TWRP. Now click reboot and select the bootloader. Remove the OTG cable and connect phone to the PC. Download the boot emmc file given under the video description and place it in one folder in a PC. Open CMD in the same folder where you place that stock boot image emmc file of Oxygen OS A15. Type fastboot command fastboot flash boot boot.emmc.win and hit enter. Now again type new command fastboot w. This will erase all the data. Now type fastboot reboot. Phone will boot, it will take at least 10 minutes, it may stuck at oneplus logo but don't worry it will boot within 10 minutes. So finally it's booted, let's set up device and it's ready. So we'll go to the settings about device. So here we upgrade it to Android D1 Bless Lineage OS 18.1, we get the beautiful easter egg of Lineage OS along with the Google's old Android D1 easter egg. Secret batch level is of 5th December 2021 which is same as latest Oxygen OS A15 version. So let's see what's working. So the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspot are working without any issues. Bluetooth is working with the audio in the Bluetooth devices. Data networks for dual sims working. GPS location having the good accuracy. Surprisingly NFC not working here but who cares. No one used the NFC so no worry. So let's check the main thing fingerprint. So it's working. We can register the multiple fingerprints, unlock speed is very good. So let's check the OLT sims, when you go to the network, there first we need to disable and re-enable the OLT tab and reboot your device, wait for a minute and now it must work. Now we can do the OLT calls and can also receive the OLT incoming calls too without any issues. ROM comes with the basic Snapdragon camera app which is taking the pics and recording the videos so I recommend you to install the Google Cam 8.1 which has all working options like portrait, night sight, etc. I have given some samples in the old Elixir ROM video for the Gcam, check that in a right side card. Audio through the speakers is working, good, here is a sample. What's up guys, you are watching for tech. So immediately after creating the installation video, I created the complete ROM review. So you can decide. 65W fast charging is supported in the ROM. ROM has a very less customization as we all know that the Lineage OS is popular for the performance and its vanilla look. But some navbar buttons, customization, status bar clock, AM, PM styles, notification panel, quick pull downs, power menu customizations are available in the settings under the system. There are also the gesture navigation setting available in the same setting to enable the full screen gestures. Other custom features will be found under the display. There we get the dark mode with the shadowed option along with the pure black theme. Adaptive brightness is not working in the ROM. There is a dedicated screen refresh rate to set it at 60 or 90 Hz. 
inside the lock screen settings we get the media and the music visualizer tabs. Here we get the double tap to wake and the always on display but both seems not working in the ROM. ROM comes with the inbuilt music setting equalizer app called the Audio FX which has some good custom presets along with the bass and virtualizer options. So here I didn't test the performance using the performance app like Geekbench etc because I can't believe in that values as I told in a last video but I can really say this ROM is performing better than Oxygen OS and Elixir ROM in every aspect. So considering some small bugs like auto brightness, NFC, alert slider, everything is working. So you can say it is a daily driver build to use. If you are bored of Oxygen OS, in the other words, color OS based ROM, it is definitely new experience using the Android. Everything is clean, fast, no boardware and awesome minimal customizations. Battery is not tested yet. I will post the separate pin message in a comment section after testing it at least for 2 days. So that's it for today guys, if you like my hard work, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye, take care.